Hi folks, welcome to another episode of NYC CNC. We just wrapped up our open house and uh, Adam Booth is stuck around for a day to hang out, which is super cool. We went down to the farm this morning actually and uh, shot a few guns, but, uh, went out and saw the big musky bucket, which is uh, one of the largest earth moving machines ever in the world. Uh, they took it apart so quite a while ago, but they've still got the bucket there. Um, I had to laugh because I thought, well, that's a good A-bomb sized thing to go do. And then we were kind of chilling out and he got to talking about the parking brake video series and he has a part that he thought would be good for CNC and I thought, well, this would be fun to machine it, but also to give Ch Adam a chance to see how we use uh, CAD and Fusion 360. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. So that, I was talking to John and telling him, you know, I've, I've got this part, it's got a bunch of radiuses on it that uh, would seems to be would be easy for him to machine on his CNC. So I asked him would he be interested in helping with that part and he said absolutely. So it'll be fun too because it's uh, you know it looks like so it's funny we don't actually have the dimensions right now but I think that's what's so cool about this is we're actually got a video uh, the part one which if you want to watch it click here. I, if you don't subscribe to Adam's channel I would highly uh, encourage it. Well, uh, very good channel. Um, and so we pull up this part and just from some photos of it, and we knew roughly, you know, it was about eight inches here and two or three here. We used Fusion 360 to get a rough idea, uh, which is super helpful because he's here so he can kind of walk me through some of the, you know, the counter sinks and where you've got certain dimensions. And he's gonna take a print home or drawing home and he'll just mark it up and, and let me correct it and we'll be good to go. It probably is a little bit bigger of a part than I would normally machine on the Tormach, but uh, I think we'll be able to get her done. I'm already thinking now about how we're gonna do an adaptive around it and then come in with a full depth of cut to clean it up. So let's take a look at the Fusion 360 and then we'll head over to the machine. Sound good? Sounds great, man. Awesome. I'm laughing because we're gonna do the screen recording here and it's it's really strange to have somebody here as we're, as we're walking through this. Um, and I don't wanna do all the talking. He wants me to talk a little bit as well. So <laughs> I'll, I'll, do, I'll do what I can, but uh, he's, the, he's the genius with the computer here. So like I said, we don't have the exact part and I really wanted the chance to show Adam how we use Fusion. Cause I'm kind of thinking maybe uh, it'd be something that he can use in the shop. Even if he doesn't have a CNC or at least one now, maybe it's helpful to send stuff out or, you know, I'm not a super creative person. So for me, it's really helpful to be able to just start with sort of a chunk and do, you know, extrudes and put holes and it helps me kind of visualize how I might do either a single part or an assembly. And I also apologize that I called it a parking brake. It's a parking attachment. It's fine, man. <laughs> it's cool. Yeah, I, and I enjoyed watching the, the process of you building that. And I would like to learn to have that capability of sketching something out on a computer screen right there really fast like you just did. Yeah. You know, I get a lot of little complex parts that I have to sit there and measure and draw and write down on a piece of paper and it takes a long time, you know? Yeah. It does. The, um, so so we, we pulled up parking uh, attachment one and Adam found the picture that you can see right here, which really is, is perfect because again, this isn't as good as holding it in our hand, but it's a lot better than say trying to do it over the phone or even for me at least hand sketching anything. And this isn't the model that we're gonna machine yet because Adam's gonna check out the dimensions, but this is what we created pretty quick. And I wanna just real quick walk through again how we did this. So I'll, I'll start with a new design and we'll create our component called the A-bomb parking attachment. Hit L for line. We just sketch on our plane here and I'll toggle between them. So we kind of go over, down, over, down, over and bangle back and over. So the cool thing is you don't need to worry about having anything exact yet. I think this was the part I goofed on last time was this goes, yeah, so this down. goes this way, right? Yeah, angle down slightly and then up back over. Right, and so I actually sort of screwed up two things already here, but it's no big deal. Um, those lines were supposed to snap even and they didn't, so I'll just go here and do a uh, horizontal vertical constraint and I'll click on that and that and that forces those to be in line and then it's really hitting the d key for dimension 
and Adam and I kind of talked through, okay, that was like two inches and the whole thing was, what did we say? Uh, I think we said eight inches, Perfect. I believe. But, and again, uh, it doesn't really matter because we got so much of the work done that when he comes back with the exact dimensions to update it, it won't be, won't be a big deal. I'm going to, I'm going to go home and I'm going to measure it out and, and have all the exact dimensions and then John can correct it on the software here. You correct the, the model here that we're making. So that was like 0.75 and this was, I forget what exactly we said for all this, but I'm just trying to show again how quick it was to get a rough shape. And I gotta say, it was kind of funny because I, I started doing a couple of things. Um, that's, that's wrong. That's, it, we went the wrong way again. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, thank you. So I'll change that to the two in this. Okay, so this comes down like that. Yeah, yeah, right. There you go. Six and one and say point two five. That looked a little bit longer. Um, oh, you know what? So this wasn't, that's it's funny. I made the same mistake twice. That's not a single mm -hmm. line, but rather it goes over and then up. Mm -hmm. um, and we'll call that 2.75. And then we hit Q for press pull, say three inches. And now we've got this solid chunk and hitting the fillet key. Boom, 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 boom. 1.5 and it was kind of cool because when we did this on the part we made it was like no joke Adam was kind of like hey that actually kind of looks mm -hmm. like the part it, yeah it does yeah um, so we added a hole through here we'll do a fusion Friday especially when we get the final um, dimensions and really walk through a, a good detailed video with the idea for folks it's one of our big requests I know is to sort of either slow down but also start from the beginning um, and it would be awesome to be able to teach Adam some of the basics to fusion um, but all we did after that were a couple of cross holes, a countersink in this slot here. And that's, are we missing anything else big? Uh, no, that's, that's really it. I mean, you kind of hit it on, you added that, that, uh, that top round boss oh, yeah, area right, right. where the, where the taper comes down and it goes just below that surface. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That was something that we added in there too. And so Adam was saying that it'd be, you know, he can do it for sure, you know, what, rotary table? Mm-hmm, yeah. But it'll be easier. Yeah, there's different ways you could do, you could cut the radius in there. Uh, you could definitely use a rotary table. Uh, you, could, you could do it with a corner rounding uh, tool, but I don't think I'm gonna have a corner rounding oh. tool big enough or You'd hold a milling like cutter. Yeah, you could right. use a milling cutter with a large radius and mill it, you know, old mm -hmm. school style, mm -hmm. but I don't, think I have anything that's going to match up to those larger radiuses like that yeah and that's what's funny like I don't have I don't have the inventory that Adam does especially those big tools but we're going to take uh, I haven't decided what we're going to do yet but I think it'll be fun to see relatively small tools at least until the end I've got a long uh, carbide three-quarter inch tool that I think will give us a, a finish pass and make it look good but we can kind of cheat and, and again have a, a smaller machine bang through a bigger piece of steel like this um, yeah, so you get to work on some A-bomb size stuff. Cool, cool, <laughs> and and that's pretty cool, man. You're gonna have a you're gonna have a part of this a whole parking attachment build. Yeah, it'll awesome. be great. I'm excited to uh, I'm excited to be part of it. So we'll be back here. We'll head over to the machine and or we'll wait for Adam to head back to Florida and get us some dimensions, and we'll uh, we'll see what we do. Yeah, sounds great. I appreciate it, man. Yeah, thank you, man. Thank you. Thanks for having me here.